Hi, I'm Sandy. I'd like to share a testimony with you of the time that I had my son Craig. Um, I had quite a difficult pregnancy um, when I was about seven months. I uh, started to hallucinate. I put on quite a bit of weight with him. Um, when I was eight months, I really wasn't feeling well that one day. Um, Hans was working and I asked my neighbour if she could take me to the hospital. I really wasn't feeling good at all. Uh, when we got there, um, they took me in straight away and they put that scope on your stomach and I could see they were looking quite worried and then they said to me they needed to phone my husband because they needed to do an emergency um, caesarean. They said my body was full of, um, they ha I had acute toxemia and my placenta was hardening so they needed to get the baby out quickly. Now originally I had opted for an epidural so they took me in and started to prepare me. I could see everything was really rushed. I could see that something wasn't good at all. Uh, when they took me in, um, they had given me, they gave me an epidural, so I figured well, I was going to watch this whole thing. And he kept, the anaesthetist kept saying, has it taken yet? Has it taken? Are you feeling numb? And I wasn't feeling numb at all. And then I could see again, they were looking very worried. And um, then I heard the, the doctor saying, we can't wait any longer. Um, nothing is going to take because of all the toxic in her body. And so I heard them say, you're going to have to hold her down because there was no time and the placenta was hardening. So I heard the one say, you're going to have to hold her down. So they had four people holding me down, um, including Hans, um, and they started to cut. So I felt every cut, I felt them pulling. Um, I remember I felt like my eyes were going to pop out my head because I had a cesarean. I think it was probably one of the most painful experiences I've ever had. And so Craig was born, and I remember once I had him, I passed out, so I didn't remember anything. He was 1.5 kgs, extremely tiny. Um, they put him in an incubator. Um, I passed out, everything collapsed, my kidneys failed, my um, bowels collapsed, I was in ICU, and what had happened with Craig is he vomited and it went into his lungs. So the prognosis for him also wasn't very good. And I remember during that time, um, I never saw him for, I think it was about, it was over a week. I hadn't seen him. Um, I was too weak, I couldn't speak. But I remember during that time that we had the church praying and Hans would read scripture over me every single day. Um, and God spoke to me the one day and he said, I want you to go and lay hands on Craig. I still hadn't seen him, but I was so sore and I couldn't speak. So I, I rang the bell and I asked him, I indicated I wanted a pen and paper. And I wrote down that I needed to go. And they weren't too happy with that. But, and I just thought I knew he needed strength for this because it was so painful. Anyway, I, they put me in a wheelchair and I went through. And when I saw him, it was, I saw all these pipes coming out of him. It was terrible. And I was a bit nervous because I thought putting my hand in, because God said you need to lay hands on him. And um, I was a bit nervous about touching something or pulling something out. But anyway, I, put my, I managed to do it. I put my hands through and I laid hands on and I prayed for him. And when I left there, it was just so, it was, when I got back, it sort of kind of took its toll on me because... Um, I took a turn for the worst because it was really painful. And, um, but at that moment, when I, that got me back into the bed, I heard God so clearly and he said, you're both going to be okay. But like I say, I, I took a turn for the worst. And overnight, I think I just, my signs and my symptoms looked worse. So the family were phoned and called and told that I wasn't going to make it. But... I knew I was going to be okay. Hans was taking strain, so I went into a bit of a panic attack, but I knew I was going to be okay. And so the family started to come in and to say their goodbyes. And as they would walk in to come and say goodbye, I could see they got all emotional. And I think for me, um, it would have been so easy to fall into that, almost like a trap, being caught up with their emotions because had I done that I don't think I would have been here today. I had to hold on knowing God said I was going to be okay and 
because I did, I knew, and I held on to that thing. I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be fine. I know I'm going to be fine, and and I was because I think it was two weeks later I was discharged, and another two weeks after that, um, Craig was discharged because they also had said they told me that Craig was not going to make it, and he did, and I just praise God for that. And I think you know one would think why would we have to go through all that? Why even the point of having gone and laid hands on Craig? the prognosis looked worse. And one could say, why did that happen? You listen to God. And it's all those little moments of thinking, when you do something that God says, do it, and then it looks worse. But you've just got to hold on to that. But the enemy always comes and tries to make things look worse when you obey God. And I just, you know, I'm so grateful for what I did go through because I'm, I am who I am today because of it. Um, James says, take joy in your trials and tribulations because it does produce endurance and perseverance. And so, yeah, and so Craig is, yeah, he's fine, he's perfect, he's, and I praise God for that, 1.5. Um, yeah, so I give all, him all the glory. But if I hadn't, you know, the fact that Hans spoke those scriptures over me, I think was also my saving grace because I had a constant reminder of what his word the promises that he, um, his word says. So that builds up my faith. And just that quiet voice that said, you're going to be okay. Otherwise, I would have had the lies of the enemy. Just I would have listened, could have listened to that. So I'll just, you know, give God all the glory for that.